So I went ahead and ordered a uh, cheap uh, assortment of electrolytic capacitors on eBay just to kind of see what they were. I'm not expecting a whole lot from these. They're obviously not going to be Nishikon or Panasonic or a name that I, I, I recognize as decent quality. Uh, I did look for a U.S. seller. I think I paid about $12 for this. Uh, obviously, it was made in China, imported, then redistributed by uh, the person here in the U.S. I don't hold out a lot of hope for this just being the most awesome assortment of electrolytics on the face of the earth. But I thought we'd take a look, see what you can get for $12 or so. I believe that even included shipping. So uh, I will say it's a lot smaller kind of than I expected it to be. So you can see the uh, assortment there. Go ahead and get the wrap off here. Sorry for all the crinkly noises. So an assortment of, of 0.0150 volt all the way up to 1000 microfarad 16 volt. And, uh, get the little box open. JWCO, I think. They're actually labeled 105 degrees C. Hmm. I have my doubts these are 105 degree, capac degree capacitors, but yeah, maybe. Uh, JWCO, not a brand name I recognize. You know, I don't know if these are Shenzhen one market stuff, if this is actually a somewhat known manufacturer. Electrolytics just keep getting smaller and smaller. Uh, anyhow, I thought we'd take my somewhat broken ESR meter and take a look at a few of these and just see what we've got here. So that's supposed to be a thousand microfarad. It's measuring 586 at one kilohertz. I think that's the blown up range. So at 100 hertz, 913 microfarad. Again, it's not awesome. ESR is measuring 0.18 ohms, and that's actually not bad, I think, for a thousand microfarad cap. Uh, let's come down to something around 22. Man, he is just a tiny little, tiny little guy. 22 at 16 volt. Hmm. Do I trust that? Twenty-one. Not bad. Uh, ESR four ohms. Not bad. Uh, for ESR resistances, I, I just got a little kind of very much of a cheat look up because there's so many things that come into it, but it kind of gives me an idea of acceptable ESR values uh, for standard aluminum caps. Uh, that seems like it's in a reasonable range. This was, I believe, 22. The uh, sizes of these are amazing, amazingly small. Uh, 107 nanofarad, 0.1 microfarad, so very close. Uh, 274 ohms. I can't begin to say if that actually seems reasonable or not. There's some hundred microfarads buried in here over here on the end. A little bit.
bit low, 90 microfarads, 2.3 ohms. Again, that's in a good range. Let's move the frequency around. 100 hertz, 120 hertz, 1 kilohertz, pretty low. kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, or 100 hertz. So I don't know. I, this doesn't seem horrible. Let's see, these were the hundreds. I actually, where's my other box of higher quality capacitors? Let me uh, step away from the camera here for a second. And grab a different assortment of caps. See if we can kind of do some side by side comparisons here. See if I can find something reasonably close in value. Fifteen hundred. There's a six eighty. There's actually okay. We've got a one-to-one -one comparison here. So this is a thousand microfarad, twenty-five volt Nishikon. So it's a very high-quality cap. It's rated to one hundred and five C. So let's take a peek at Anishikon and see what we see. 912 picofarad. Oops, I was already on ESR. ESR of about 0.13 ohms. 1.4 ohm, yeah, 1.3, 1.4 ohms. Let's now take the whatever this generic brand is. This is a 16 volt rating versus a 25 volt rating. That's it's a little physically smaller, but it's still a thousand microfarad, and it's measuring you know 913 microfarad, 0.184 ohms. It's not bad. Uh, so the question becomes, you know, survivability. I've got a good selection of Nishikons. The problem is, is the smallest I've got is about a thousand microfarad. Uh, these came out of a kit from somebody who was repairing switching power supplies and they were bought for that and I think we looked at these way back in a previous video because I got them did this huge stock in Nishikon really cheap uh, well here's a 680 Nishikon Let's see where his ESR tends to fall out you know 0.16 ohms really good uh, I believe measure 640 no surprise 100 microfarad of course at 450 volts it's a heck of a cap 0.81 ohms is that the Nishikon? yeah it is, I don't want to mix it into here 100 microfarad 25, 100 microfarad 16. It's interesting the 100 microfarad 25s and 16s, the, the, the 25 volt are actually a little bit smaller than the. Is that a different manufacturer? Can't read it. Again, it's 100 microfarad. So the El Cheapo assortment measures 99, really close, 1.22 ohms. Again, very reasonable. You know, not as good as the uh, Nishikon, though the voltage ratings and the physical construction are so different that somewhat impacts them. Uh, well, 
anyhow, I guess this is going to be a really short video. Uh, Pastor, I actually bought this for, I think, it's going to be in these 47 ohm guys here. I don't remember the exact one I need to replace. You know, 45.9, 1.6 ohm. Uh, very reasonable. Again, this is a different manufacturer and it's really difficult to read. The little bit of, sh oh, come on, let go of my glasses there. The little bit of shrink around. HYNCDZ. <laughs> Never heard of it. ROHS or ROHS. Uh, so uh, lead free soldering, 40 to 105 degrees C. You know, uh, I guess I'm not disappointed. It's a nice little assortment. It's got a nice set of ranges. getting it back in the box is interesting uh, you know a nice selection of voltage ranges you know there's 347 microfarad from 16 volt to 50 volt a couple different 22 microfarad it's a nice little nice little collection uh, wasn't expensive like I say I think this was $12 including shipping you saw me open it pre-sorted. Yes, you can turn off. There you go. So, uh, yeah, would I say buy? You know, uh, counting on these for very long-term use, probably not. But just for a nice assortment for puttering around with. From what we've seen, it seems reasonable to me. The price wasn't bad. You could get it much cheaper directly from a, a Chinese distributor. However, then you're dealing with you know many weeks in drop shipment to get to you versus you know it's just a, a a reseller in California and yeah he he wanted over double what the Chinese wanted, but it included shipping. It got here within a few days, which was very nice. Anyhow, I guess I will call that not bad for what it is. Uh, happy with it. My stock of these small capacitors is all but gone. Uh, I've ended up actually with this box of Nishikon, which I think you've seen here before. Just loaded. Again, not a huge range of values across these. Uh, and there's some cheap Chinese junk over here on the side uh, as well. A few of these. I'm not even, at least I don't recognize the name brand. Chong, C H O N G X. You know, those I have no clue about. These are actually some looks like I ordered from DigiKey. Anyhow, I can ramble on all day. This will be a short video. I'll wrap this up, and we'll talk soon.